What is going on guys, we're back on another video today and we're doing a little bit of special video on Madden 90 Connector Franchise. It's a little bit of an experiment, kind of what if, I don't even know, kind of like that. Uh, of course you could probably see the title, Calvin Johnson's on it. Everyone wants to see Calvin Johnson, click that, you know, click that video. Of course he's played a bit more than five years. Uh, Calvin Johnson, one of the most special receivers in all of NFL history, potentially a top five all time. It's tough because there's a lot of great wide receivers, but pure talent Kind of that whole Aaron Rodgers argument. Uh, Calvin's got to be pretty damn close to top five, if not top five. Um, of course, he still had a great resume. Retired early because, you know, the Barry Sanders effect. Playing for a team that wasn't going anywhere. Wasn't worth the punishment in his eyes. Uh, and I could see it. The way Stafford threw that thing to him, it was like a hospital trip waiting to happen. But, of course, kind of fortunate to come out the way he did went off absolutely insane and of course everyone wants to talk about DK Metcalf and his insane body figure and ability to run and catch and be a beast but you also have Hakeem Butler a lot of people linking him to Calvin of course very similar in play styles however you can't ignore the speed difference there's a, a bit of a speed difference uh, but let's you know the whole point of this was to take a look well, I mean, the whole point is to talk about Hakeem Butler, but the say, you know, the second point is to have a little bit of fun and see, you know, how they compare. They're playing 2019. Calvin Johnson's back. He's 34. Somehow he thinks that they're good. Clearly they're not. And uh, here he is back. The Lions. They draft Hakeem Butler in the first round. Makes no sense. But guess what? They did it for what the hell. You know, they wanted Calvin back. He wasn't coming back. That was the best they were gonna get. Lions are six and ten. Doesn't shock us one bit. The question is, how did Calvin play? And he picked up right where he left off. Actually, did he pick up right where he left off? Pretty damn similar in real life. Calvin Johnson, he, uh, he had about 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns to finish out the season. Man, that 2012, that 2012 uh, campaign was insane. Honestly, you can debate, though, that 2011 was better. He had less catches, more yards per catch, uh, way more touchdowns. Uh, I think, you know, and less fumbles. I don't know if that really matters, but... I don't know, 20, 2011 was probably better for him, in my opinion. But obviously, records are records. Of course, Calvin with a 92-yard uh, catch season, which would put him at third best in his career, uh, 1,389 yards. Now that, that would be around fourth best. Touchdowns, believe it or not, would be around fifth best. So, obviously, playing at a high level, even though he's old, playing on a bad team, almost just as bad as some of the teams he was back on in Detroit before he retired. They were bad teams, but this team right now in real life is really bad too, and it sucks to say that because the Packers kind of got wrecked by them. But I don't know. I'm not going to count a Week 17 game where we want a better draft pick to be considered a legit wreckage. So, of course, you see the uh, the Colts. They uh, lose the Super Bowl to the Rams. Let's take a look. I really want to see, like, a legit new Super Bowl. I want to see, like, Colts and so I don't even want No, I don't want to see Colts. I want to see Browns and so I don't even know. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see, did Calvin win best wide receiver? What? Wait. That wasn't top 10 worthy? Are you for real? Or did he retire and maybe that's why? Yeah, that's why. So he retired right after he was, he was, he was like, yeah, we made a mistake. We got one again. Uh, but of course, you guys seen the you know the stat line, 10 touchdowns, about 13, 1400 yards. Let's see how Hakeem Butler can do. So Hakeem Butler, of course, you know, pretty similar in style. Uh, obviously a, a straight line runner. Not, I mean, it's not like Calvin was the greatest runner, you know, route runner in the world, but he was pretty damn quick on his uh, his breaks. Hakeem Butler, not really, uh, not really at that level, I don't think. Uh, of course, jumping, not even close to Calvin. If we're being legit, obviously, combine grades don't mean everything. He could. He could have had a really bad jumping day. Uh, who knows? Broke his leg. <laughs> That's not true at all. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he just don't want to jump as high as he could because he was afraid of injury. But a 36-inch vertical or around that, I think, versus Calvin's like monster 42 NBA-style jumper. Uh, of course, that's it's not even a comparison there. Uh, Calvin and him, both obviously straight line, kind of jump ball, go and get it type guys. I don't think the Lions would even really want a guy like Hakeem right now. Who wouldn't? But at the same time, you got to look at what you're paying for what you're getting. Don't really need him. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's a beast. He can run through people if he has to. You know, Calvin-like. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's pretty damn close to Calvin Johnson, if we're going to be honest. Uh, there's really 
I mean, you can maybe draw the the Metcalf uh, comparison just because of how freakishly uh, like talented he is when it comes to gym gym rat ability. Uh, but let, I mean, let's take a look at what Hakeem Butler at number one can do. Let's compare it to Calvin Johnson's rookie career. Of course, Calvin didn't start off slow, but you know, obviously. Not those 1,000-yard seasons that we were used to seeing him. Obviously bounced back nicely. Year two, uh, you know, sophomore year, very, very good. Uh, let's take a look. Did the uh, Lions make the playoffs? 7-9. No, I'm telling you, Hakeem Butler. So Hakeem Butler actually went up a couple overalls. He might have had a better season than Calvin Johnson. They're very close. I think Stafford had a worse season, if I'm not mistaken. Receiving Hakeem Butler, and that ain't the future. I don't know what is. Hakeem Butler with a much better Rookie start than Calvin, over 400 yards more than him, eight touchdowns more. Of course, Stafford already had Calvin Johnson, so he's used to knowing what to do with a big guy. I'm just going to throw it up and hope he doesn't die, which, of course, uh, it's going to catch up with his receiver sooner or later. Uh, lots of touchdowns, lots of yards, similar in receptions, I believe. A little bit less yards per catch, I would say. Uh, but Hakeem Butler... Clearly, you know, ex you know, exceeded the expectations here and proved himself as that potential Calvin Johnson type. Question is, who's going to go for him? Who could use a guy like him the most? I feel like the, the Seahawks could be a team that would go for him. Like, in Seattle really doesn't have a big guy right now unless they uh, pick someone up in free agency that I forgot about. I mean, look at the Seahawks free agency. They, uh, they didn't get any wide receiver to my knowledge. Uh, of course, a team like the Ravens, you know, comes to mind as well. Uh, I would feel like it's got to be a team in the top 15, though, to try and grab him in the second round. Because I don't, like, unless he's, like, a bottom 30 wide receiver, there's just too much, you know, there's too many wide receivers because of how deep the defensive class is that are going to be going in the high seconds. Like, this is going to potentially, depending on, you know, if anyone reaches in the first round, it's going to be one of the greatest second round wide receiver classes ever. Just because, of, once again, the, the defense pushing those guys back. I mean, at most, we're probably going to see two wide receivers in the first round. I would assume Metcalf is going to get hype drafted. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe Marquise Brown. Uh, somebody. I mean, I mean, Hakeem Shirley is going to be like a, a mid-second or lower. Uh, so I kind of feel like maybe the Ravens or Seahawks. I know they're not exactly mid-second, but they can maybe trade up into those spots. I think the Seahawks could really use a guy. Like, who do they? I mean, the last guy they had was maybe Jimmy Graham that could go up and get it. And even he was, you know, near the end of his career. Ironically, the Packers have him now really at the end of his career. But they don't really have a guy that can go up and get it. I think that's what Russell needs. You know, he's he's been that guy to get away and sometimes just have to chuck it up because nobody's giving him any help. And, of course, Doug and, you know, I don't even, is Doug even on their team anymore? Doug Baldwin, of course, uh, made up some really good catches, even though he's obviously not that tall. Well, I thought he was like a free agent or something. Was he? I think I don't even know. I don't know if they like signed it. I I don't even remember. I think he's still on. I think he's middle of his contract. I think I'm just being stupid here. And in case you want to try it yourself, the roster I downloaded for well the the draft class I downloaded was the real 2019 class. A lot of different classes. You can you know decide on which one you think is the most realistic or not. And then of course Calvin. I just kind of made him 90 plus jumping, 92 speed. You know the 6'5", 237 business. Obviously he's a little bit older, so you get the fact of that in. But he's still. Probably would be a beast right now. But yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Is he a Calvin Johnson clone? Who do you think is going to take him? You think he's going to be a bust? You think he's going to be a beast? There's a lot of wide receivers in this in this draft, and I think a lot of teams are going to come out with some really good players. Of course, not you know, speaking as a Packers fan, not a chance I want him on the team. Not that he's not good. It's just we don't need that. We we have plenty of tall guys. We need a damn slot receiver ASAP. If we're not if we go wide receiver and it's not slot or like at the best I'll get AJ Brown or like worse I suppose for the slot I don't know what to tell you like if they go for like a a Metcalf or a uh, a Hakeem I wouldn't even know what to say because I would not be super happy but hey maybe uh, you disagree with me and your team really needs him let me know in the comment section below of course I would like to know if you guys are interested in more of these I have a different I think I have a, a Jason Witten video I'm gonna do soon. Uh, there might be, I don't know, an A.J. Brown, Antonio Brown video. I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions like this, let me know. Maybe you want to see a Marquise Brown versus Tyreek Hill. I don't know. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back in the next video. Maybe like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Drumpy Care. 
But until next video, see ya.